Hello everybody! In today's video we're going to talk about the Scandinavian countries and why one of them is better than the others when it comes to buying, owning and riding a motorcycle. So first things first, when I say Scandinavia I'm talking about Sweden, Norway and Denmark. Now I know that some of you might also want to include Finland or even Iceland, but I won't include them in this video. However, they would be included if this video was about the Nordic countries or Norden as we say here in Sweden. Fun fact. The name or the term Scandinavia actually origins from my birthplace way down south, Skåne or Scania, Scania. Alrighty then, let's dig into the three reasons why one Scandinavian country stands out as better than the others for us motorcycle riders. Number one, maybe you see my test ride video of the Honda Goldwing Tour with the DCT. That epic motorcycle costs about 399,900 Swedish crowns. It's roughly about 40,000 US dollars. And some of you reacted and thought it was quite expensive, so why not check out what it costs in Norway and Denmark? If you buy the same bike in Norway, it costs about 469,663 Norwegian crowns, and in Denmark it's 576,985 Danish crowns. However, the Norwegian, Danish and Swedish crowns isn't the same, and when we use the proper exchange rate from Denmark and Norway, the actual price in Swedish crowns is 540,450 crowns if you buy it in Norway and 860,280 crowns if you buy it in Denmark. Yep, you heard me right. So if you're a Dane thinking of getting the new Honda Goldwing, just know that you could get two of them here in Sweden and you would still have some money left over. If that's not crazy, I don't know what is. But let's take some other examples and from here on I'll state all the prices converted to Swedish crowns. The Yamaha R1M cost 249,900 Swedish crowns. In Norway is 369,000 and in Denmark is 541,000. Now if you buy a cheaper bike there is still some differences in the pricing but not that extreme. For example this small Yamaha YS125 it costs about 32,900 Swedish crowns here in Sweden. The same bike in Norway is 34,400 and 44,700 in Denmark. Now the reason for this crazy pricing on new bikes and other vehicles in Denmark is their first time registration fee which is completely based on the price of the vehicle. So I'll show you here what it looks like but basically the cheaper the vehicle the less you have to pay to register. In Norway the system is a bit different. They calculate the one time fee based on CO2 emissions and the engine effect. Well, so we can clearly state that within the Scandinavian countries, Sweden is the cheapest one to buy a new bike, and we have Norway, and way down we have Denmark. I'm sorry dear neighbors, but at least motorcycle gear costs about the same in all three countries. For example, the Alpine Stars GP Pro costs 10,011 Swedish crowns here in Sweden, in Norway it's 9,550 crowns, and in Denmark 10,374 crowns. Number two. As we all know, there are still things to pay after you actually bought your motorcycle, like gas and insurance, but let's talk about the road or the vehicle taxes. Here in Sweden we pay 180 Swedish crowns per year in tax for the motorcycle, and an additional 65 crowns for keeping our bike registered, so it's a total of 245 crowns per year. In Denmark that same fee is about 1,100 crowns, and in Norway it's 2,300 crowns. But once again, Norway had a bit different system, Within those 2,300 there is a non-optional insurance included, but however you still have to get your own separate insurance too. So winner in round two, Sweden! Number three, riding a motorcycle is a way of life to truly experience freedom, but sometimes we might forget to stay within the speed limits and sometimes you even get caught doing that. So what would be the price to pay for this scene here in Scandinavia? Now if you ride too fast or too recklessly you will lose your license no matter where you ride. But the biggest fine for speeding would be in Norway, where you could receive a ticket of 12,250 Swedish crowns. In Denmark, 7,450. And here in Sweden, it's about 4,000. So that's the fines. But let's say you ride your motorcycle in Norway and your only crime is speeding. Besides the fine, you can actually also get to spend some days in jail. There is an example of a Swede who went at 146 km per hour, where the maximum speed was set to 80 km per hour. He got to spend 16 days in the Norwegian prison, guys. So please be careful. Denmark have a system where they might puncture your license. They make a little hole, and if you collect more than three holes within three years, they make you do the tests all again. They take your license away, and you have to take it all again. So to sum this all up, 
Sweden is the cheapest country to buy and own a new motorcycle. If you ride too fast here, which I of course don't encourage anyone to ever do, you won't get a fine more than 4,000 crowns and you won't end up in jail. So does this mean that you should never visit or ride a motorcycle in Norway or Denmark? Well, of course not. Norway has some incredibly nice roads and epic scenery, and Denmark actually allows 130 km per hour on some highways, where in Sweden we top out at 120 km per hour. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment down below. Support my channel by subscribing, give this video a like, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.